Hey y'all, this is Big Black from Big Black Barbecue, and today I'm doing a turkey. As you can see here, I got a nice small turkey. It's about eight pounds. I didn't want to do a full 14 pound one just for a video. It that'd take a little bit of time, but uh, as we approach Thanksgiving, I just thought I'd do a nice turkey for people who have never done a smoked turkey before, or just want to just re up on some tips. Uh, I'm going to be doing this Cajun style. Uh, there's a lot of things that go into this uh, first and foremost before any uh, Before any smoke with a turkey Especially one this size or one bigger as your 14 pound turkeys You want to brine it as you can see here I still got a little seasoning everywhere for where I brined it for 24 hours um, Sometimes your 14 pound turkeys can take a lot longer, but it's just just uh a good thing to do is to go ahead and brine it. Now, you can dry brine it, as you've seen in my last video, or you can wet brine it. Uh, brining just adds moisture to it. doesn't let the turkey dry out. As we know, your breast and your, the front part of your, I mean, your breast and your thighs uh, cook a little bit slower than your wings and your legs. So, it just keeps the whole turkey moist. Um, but, as you can see here, I got the turkey just nice and uh, brined. Uh, you can use any type of brine you want. Mine's just had a little bit of uh, Cajun powder, uh, peppercorn, uh, a little bit of um, uh, red crushed pepper. You know, just it doesn't matter. There's a million different brines out there that you can try. So just go ahead and just experiment with them. But uh, we're going to get started on actually getting this turkey to smoke. Um First things first, before you do anything, uh, start seasoning with me. With me, how I do it before I start seasoning with anything is I go ahead and start injecting. Um, injecting, since this is a turkey, it's not separate pieces. Uh, injecting is probably your best way to go. Uh, since I'm doing a Cajun turkey, I'm going to be injecting it with Cajun uh, butter. And uh, here's, uh, you can make your own Cajun butter or your own Cajun style injection i'm going to go ahead and use as you see here let me back it up a little bit so you can see as you see here i'm going to be using the store tony churchies i hope that's i hope i pronounced that right but it's already made what i like about this is that it's already made and already comes with an injector and it's so finely made that it, it actually pushes through an injector some injections uh, especially dealing with cage of seasonings you, it might get it might cluck up your your uh injector but this is already finely made all you gotta do is really shake it and get started uh what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna pull some in and then i'm just gonna start injecting in places that are very thick in uh in the turkey i'm not gonna really worry about the wings too much i'm gonna put a little bit of injection in them i'm gonna put a little bit of injection in the legs but mo for the most part i want to get the thighs and i want to get the uh, front part of the, the breast. So here we go. Let's go in here and inject out. Let me turn this camera a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. But this butter is going to give it a nice little taste for the inside along with that brine. And you won't have to worry about spritzing this. Oh, get, oh I'm hitting bone right there. But and it's all right if you're going to get some on the outside. We're going to dry this off. Just make sure you get some all throughout your turkey. There's no wrong way to inject, in my opinion. I mean, some people have their own different uh, views on injecting. I just want to get that flavor in there. And we're going to be cooking this. I'm going to be hanging my turkey to smoke. But you don't have to. You can put this on the smoker straight up. Um, you can also use a roasting pan. You can hang it. You can hang it in a million different ways. I have an actual base bottom hang. Uh, but you can use a hook hang. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure that uh, you're make sure that all as with all poetry that you're cooking it to 165 me preferably i like my 
breast and my thighs, that area to be at 165 because I know it's going to go up about 10 degrees when I take it off and let it rest. But you want your wings and you want your legs to be at 175. That's usually what they're usually at when your breast hit when your breast hit uh 165 to begin with. So you don't really have to do too much. But we're just gonna get this injected. Also, with that being said, make sure you have an instant reader. An instant reader comes in very handy because you want to make sure that the Turkey's already cooked. You can use turkey timers. Uh, they don't, they're not specifically accurate, but they do allow you to forgo checking the turkey. Now, some of them might not pop up, which is a, which is also a thing in itself, but for the most part, just get your turkey nice and, uh, nice and uh, injected here. I'm going to get to the bottom. As you see, I got some injection coming out of it, but that's okay. a little bit in the wing here just just a little bit if i can get it if i can get it through the wing just a little bit just that little part yeah there we go get the other side okay now i got my turkey injected what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna dry this off and i'm gonna let it sit for about 30 minutes to an hour I want that injection to actually get in there and actually do its job before I go on to the next step. And I'll be back with you shortly for that part. Okay, I'm back. It's been about 30 minutes. As you can see here, the injection is starting to come out a little bit in my turkey. And that's okay. That's completely fine. We're going to get with the next step, which is seasoning it. What you want to start off with, and I know this sounds kind of weird, is you want to start off with some cooking spray. Uh, guess canela oil cooking spray or vegetable spray what this allows what this does is it is allows the Season to bind to your turkey, especially if you're hanging it It also allows it to get that nice Brownish color that you see at Thanksgiving time uh, Cooking spray is something I rarely use unless I'm actually smoking a turkey, but for all I recommend it, it canela uh, canela oil cooking spray or vegetable oil cooking spray it really doesn't matter um just make sure you have some cooking spray so what we're going to do is you're just going to give it a light coat i know my spray is a little little uh jetty there i don't know why but <laughs> Give it a nice little coat of uh, cooking spray. Then we're going to come behind with our seasoning. Um, I'm using Cajun seasoning. Uh, I got from uh, Spiceology from the last video, along with a little bit of salt added to it, because you can add your own salt. And we're just going to go ahead and we're just going to rub this on. Just make sure you get everywhere you can. That cooking spray really makes it stick. So you won't have to worry about it falling off too much. And get messy with it. It is a messy thing. But your cooking spray also comes in handy on the smoker because, uh, as you're going to see later, I'm going to give it another spritz of uh, cooking spray while it's cooking, and that's to that's to stop it from turning too brown and also uh, to help it cook a lot better. Uh, it actually helps. It actually stops it from turning like dark, dark brown or you know a color that you don't really want to see. But I'm going to be cooking this bird at 275. And it should take me, since it's about 8 pounds, what, it's 30 minutes a pound or something like that. It should take me about a little bit either under or over 4 hours. I'm thinking the latter, but make sure you get under it. Make sure you get under the grooves. Just get this bird nice and, uh, nice and seasoned. 
Make sure that outside crust is getting nice little outside crust. And I didn't mention this, but you can actually stuff this with uh, apples. It, it, it doesn't really matter. It's up to you. Just make sure if you're hanging it that it, you hang it on the ops like I am is actually where the front of the turkey is actually downward. Just because you don't want that stuff to fall out. Even if you tie it, which I'm going to tie this to. But just make sure you, uh, you get it to where it's not... Uh, it's not going to fall out. I know that's kind of like obvious, but you never know. Some things just fall out for no reason. Get inside that cavity a little bit too. And on these drums a little bit. Some of this little mud in here that's made from the injection and the season to come down. Get this turkey nice and seasoned. Some in the cavities. Just get it everywhere you can. Just nice and seasoned. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to tie the legs to this turkey. I'm not going to show that part. There's millions of ways to tie this. I'm just going to tie the lace so they actually hold up. And um, you can look at other videos or other tips online on how to tie the legs to the turkey. I'm just going to tie them with the uh, butcher twine. And I'm going to actually insert my hanging hook, my hanging plate, actually. And I'm going to let this sit for about an hour, anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour. I just want to make sure that the injection is still working so it had an hour, it had about an hour two hour time and then on top of that i want this season to really get into this turkey and then uh, i'll meet y'all back outside on the smoker okay y'all i got my smoker up to 275 i'm gonna go ahead and get this started to smoke and as you see here i got a probe right here just to make sure the inside temperature stays within the range that i want it I'm gonna go ahead and hang this turkey. I'm using oak chips, oak, pecan, and cherry mix chips. Uh, I don't prefer hickory for chicken or, or poultry or turkey. Uh, just use a light, light wood and a, a light wood and also a light, uh, a fruity wood mixture. It actually do the perfect job. It actually get, it helps you get that color, especially a cherry. And if you want a little bit of spice added on, I mean, a little fruit spice added on. You can use apple chips also, but we're going to open this up here. See it's smoking nicely. We're going to hang this bad boy. And there we go. Barely touches the bottom. Got it nice and was got it nice and sitting there, and we're just gonna let this go. I'm gonna come back out here in two hours, take a look at it, see if I need to spray anything on it. My wing is coming a little bit loose there, but that's okay for video purposes. I'm not trying to be perfect, but that's all there is to it. We're gonna let this go. I'll be back in two hours, take a look at it, see if I need to add some spray to it or not, and I'll be back with y'all shortly. Okay, we're a little more than halfway into our cook. We're gonna open this up, see what we have here. You can look at our bird looking really nice what we're going to do now since we don't want this to get super dark we're going to take our vegetable oil and we're going to give it a spray nice little spray all the way around as you can see here i'm just spraying vegetable oil and we're just going to let this go there's no need to uh, do a uh, spritz on this or anything like that let your brine do the work we're just going to close this back up we're going to let it go for the rest uh, I'm going to stick this probe into the thigh so I can get an accurate read of 165. And when I get to 165, I'm going to use my Insta Reader to finish, uh, to actually get an accurate temperature. But other than that, we're just going to let this go. You want a good look at it. 
I'm a, and I'll meet y'all back when I'm completely done. I'm gonna bring it inside once it's done. Let it rest for about, uh, give or take, about 30 minutes to an hour, and then we'll be ready to cut. But again, so we have. We're just gonna let it go. I'll meet y'all back inside shortly. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Total cook time was about four and a half hours. I'm going to show you here what I got. It's still a little hot. It's been sitting for about 15, 20 minutes, but it's still a little hot. I'm going to try. I'm going to go ahead and cut into it. I'm going to try my best not to uh, burn myself. Let me get a side view here, turn it around for you so you can see everything. Temperature was one a little bit over 165. I'll let it go to one, 167, but a few degrees is not going to hurt it. But again, there you go again. Still a little hot. Let me go ahead and cut into this. Cut into the back part here. It's still a little hot. But here we go. I got a piece here. Let y'all get a look at this. Go ahead and taste it. Mmm. That is good. The crust is there. <coughs> Excuse me. The crust is there and the, the, the injection is just what sets it off. That is so good. Let me get a let me see if I can't cut another piece up off here. Let's try to get a look at where I cut it from. Get another piece off here. Well, if I can. I'm trying to find a place to cut it nicely so I can get a nice little piece. It's still a little hot, so I don't want to burn my fingers. Mmm. That brine really keeps it moist, and that injection just very properly seasoned. But uh, that's about it. That's all you have to do. Like I said, you can stuff it with your own stuff if that's what you want to do. You don't necessarily have to, especially if you're hanging it. But I got sides already made. I was in preparation for this. And uh, I'm hungry. Like Usually when I do cooks, I don't eat just because I'm in anticipation for everything. But uh, just look forward to more videos coming. I just wanted to get this out here because Thanksgiving is in a week or so. Two weeks, I think. My uh, dates are a little off. I'm sorry. But uh, this is Big Black from Big Black Barbecue. And uh, it's time to eat.